Nowadays, we are so used to having access to the internet wherever we go that it might not occur to new cruisers that they might not be able to go online 24-7. Imagine that! Cruise lines have upped their internet game over the past few years, but it's still a work in progress, and here's what you need to know. How do I connect to the internet on a cruise ship? Unless you're sailing on a pricier line that includes internet in the cruise fare, or you got a great promotional deal when you booked, you're gonna have to pay up. Most lines sell packages by time, and you'll generally spend between 60 cents to a dollar per minute. Although you usually get more bang for your buck if you buy a package of 30 minutes or more. And once you bought a package, you can connect to the internet on any of your devices. Can I use it in my cabin? Well, that depends on two things what ship you're sailing on, and where your cabin is in the ship. Newer ships tend to have better signal strength and speed because they're newer. You'll usually get a better connection in the public areas of the ship, but you should be able to get some kind of signal in your cabin as well. Most ships also have internet cafes with plenty of computers, but you'll still need to buy a package to get online. How fast is the internet? Well, on new ships like Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas and Anthem of the Seas, their VOOM high-speed internet services promise speeds as fast as you can get on land. Unfortunately, since the coverage is satellite-based, most ships will have internet with speeds that will remind you of this. And there may be times when you can't get a connection at all. 